Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with a quick update video. I am happy to be home because I did miss Nick and my two girls, Chloe and Penelope. However, I am really, really, really missing the Florida sun. I did get a lot of sun. As a matter of fact, I have a tan line on my chest. My cousin Titi, Christina, and I spent hours by the pool the other day and it felt so, so good because up here in the North Country in the Adirondacks, usually in the winter, we don't get a lot of sunlight. A lot of the days we have are very gloomy, which normally I wouldn't care about because I'm an emo kid at heart. But it gets to the point where, especially if you're from somewhere like Florida where it's always sunny, you kind of miss the sun. You miss that warm feeling on your skin. So I got a little sun drunk the other day and I dearly paid for it for maybe about a day. I was really, really hot. My skin was burned. However, I'm happy to report that after hours of moisturizing and re-moisturizing and re-moisturizing, my skin feels and looks a hell of a lot better than what it did initially. Nick and I have been in the talks about moving back Back to Florida pretty soon which I'm hoping is gonna happen very very soon like in the next couple months soon I am a South Floridian I am a city girl at heart I need action I need a lot of people around me I just need to be where I feel comfortable I feel happy I feel like I'm at home but I feel like the only people who stay here are people who are tied down with state jobs like the state job here of Sunmount and people who have grown up here I have no relation to anybody here at least not directly the only family I have here left is Nick's family and they're moving down to Florida too in the next few years so I'd rather just go down there early and get settled and be happy because I am not happy here anymore so I have been just gradually taking information from different places my tia Kati actually lives in a beautiful apartment complex in West Palm and I fell in love with the layout of their apartment they have a two-bedroom just because their kids went to college so they didn't need a huge house like they used to have so they downgraded to a little two-bedroom apartment and it's perfect in size for both Nick and I. So I'm hoping and considering moving into those apartments because like I said, it's perfect in size. I had an outstanding, amazing time being back home and feeling so happy every day waking up in the sun. I just, I loved it and I honestly miss it so, so much. However, like I said earlier, I am kind of happy to be home because of course I missed Nick and my girls and I missed my beauty room. I miss having my lipsticks everywhere. I missed my makeup messes every day and I miss you guys. I miss filming about makeup and doing makeup tutorials and tutorials and talking to you guys. I apologize that I really wasn't as active as I thought I would be, but I really wanted to hone in on spending time with my family and my friends. However, I think I did a good job of making sure that I had enough footage for you guys to enjoy while I was there. Anyways, moving on to our channel here. So, what I have planned already, I have quite a few makeup looks that I want to do for you guys coming in the next few days. And then I also have a couple of tutorials ready to go as well. Unfortunately, while I was there, I didn't do very much shopping. As a matter of fact, this is probably the only clothing item I picked up while I was there. I got this from the Vans store, but I got it in like three sizes too big. I don't know why I thought that Vans ran small, but when I used to shop at Vans all the time for clothing when I was in high school, I remember a lot of their clothing would run smaller, so I assumed that was still the case. And I bought this, and it's literally like two sizes too big and it's a 1x so that's cool but I love the color of it it was a brand new shirt they had just put on the rack and I was like let me scoop that up real quick because I love this color you guys know blue is my favorite color of life they had another one that was pink like a light baby pink and I almost picked it up but I was like mm probably won't wear it as much as I wore this one so this is probably the only thing I picked up while I was there as far as like clothing items however I will say that I had some amazing experiences you guys saw a lot of what I went through while I was there if I'm being honest overall looking at all the trips I've had in the past few years this one is definitely the most memorable one for me because I did so many amazing things with my favorite people in the world who you guys met we had plans to do a fuck this shit Friday with Ray but that kind of fell through because we were just so busy going to different places is going to Miami to Del Rey. We went everywhere, so I didn't really have time to sit down and do a fuck this shit Friday, but it's coming back later this week. Other than that, honestly, I don't really have anything planned for my channel. If there's anything you guys want to see, like different topics about tutorials, let me know down below. And I will happily do my research and sit down and film one for you guys because I want to do what you guys want to watch. You guys know that. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, lastly, I have a new family member to show you guys, which I'm very excited about. Nick had messaged me while I was actually at the airport panicking because I had missed my flight from fucking Philadelphia to Albany and said he had a surprise for me. So, let me go and get her and I will show her to you guys because she is fucking so... Oh, <laughs> 
All right, so before I show you guys the new baby, this is Penelope, if you guys haven't seen her. She is an albino ferret. She's about maybe like two and a half years old, and she was our first ferret baby, but now we have her sister. I know a lot of you guys have asked me to do like different vlogs about the animals, especially the ferret, so I do have that planned for you guys as well. I know it's taking so long for me to do that, but as you can see, she's a very fidgety animal, and she's kind of hard to control and keep still, which is really why I haven't sat down with her because she always always needs to be doing something. Look at the camera, mommy. She always wants to move, always wants to investigate, but yeah, this is the first baby, this is Penelope. And then this little girl is Chloe, if you haven't met them. These were my first two fur daughters, so this is Chloe the Yorkie, and this is Penelope. For those of you probably wondering, the reason why Chloe's hair is so long is because when we first got her, her previous owners were not that good to her, and they shaved her down bald. And the few little spots of hair that she did have were all matted to her skin. So we cut everything off, and I've been growing her hair out just a little bit longer just so I can cut it to a good length. But as you can see, her hair looks very full, very long, so she is overdue for a haircut. I just don't want to spring it on her at the last minute because she's not too fond of scissors. And I don't want to put her through a traumatic experience that she will never forget and be scared of for the rest of her life. So we're trying to introduce her slowly to scissors and getting cut by somebody else. Alright, so anyways, so this is the big sister of the new baby, so now... Let's go introduce your new sister! Alright, so she's very, very sleepy, but she just woke up. This is baby Marble. She is about two months old, and she's so cute. I'll pick up Penelope in a minute, but you can see how small she is compared to Penelope. But this is Marble, like I said. We just called her Marble because obviously you can see the white and black. She's such a sweetheart. She's not as feisty as Penelope is, even though I'm pretty sure that's gonna change pretty quickly. But Nick surprised me with this baby. <laughs> when he picked me up from the airport, and honestly, I've just been so obsessed with her ever since. I'll go and grab Penelope so I can compare sizes for you guys. All right, so this is Penelope, who is a full-grown ferret, and this is the baby. You can definitely see there's a big difference in size. We are still trying to get them to like each other, but it's taking a little bit longer than we expected. Oh, thank you, baby. It's taking a little bit longer than we had expected just because Penelope has been a single ferret in this household for a very long time. But we have had some cute moments which I will put in the end of the video for you guys to see. With the girls playing and cuddling and actually getting along which we did not expect to happen so quickly. So yeah, this is baby Marble and you guys will see a lot more of her in future videos. She absolutely adores Nick and I. She loves being around us. She's giving me kisses right now. But she is such a sweetheart and I could not believe Nick went to the store and got another one. But honestly, Nick and I don't have any kids yet, so these animals are our children. So to us, they are more than worth it. If you guys have any questions about any of the babies, leave them all down below. But it's about time that we give her her vitamins for the day, so I have to go give her her vitamins. And Penelope is dragging Chloe's water dish across the floor, making a mess. As you can see, life with ferrets is a lot of fun. If you guys would like to see a video dedicated to Baby Marble and Penelope, let me know down below. And I will definitely film that for you guys in the next few weeks. But other than that, guys, this is all I have for you guys for today's update video. I'll be back on my regular schedule in the next few days, starting probably on Wednesday. So from my little family of fur babies to yours, have a great day wherever you are, whatever time it is. And I will see you guys in the next video. We love you. Bye. Alright, so what are we doing here? Are we climbing mommy's hair? Is that what we're doing? This kind of heights, girl. This heights. Can we just look at her little paws? They're all black with little pink little pods on them. I cannot with you. You're so cute. Mwah. I love you. Oh my god, the face though. Who is that, mama? Who is that? Hairs don't look like Justin's hair.